Good morning. Last night, my daughter and myself was talking about how to seek the kingdom of God and what is it about and how do you go about seeking the kingdom of God. And we were doing the series with Michael Todd on seeking the kingdom. And he said something, and it came to me. Seeking the kingdom of God is like baiting. Or shall I say courting. Dating sets you up from, for divorce, but courting is totally different, something different. And I said to her, you know what? We don't know what relationship is about because we are in a relationship because of trauma. You are not dating somebody for love. You're dating somebody out of trauma. You don't go around going into into relationship because of what you can get out of it. Do you really go out and seek somebody for money? Okay, there is that I'm not going to say odd I'm just going to say sick and head people that really go out and get married for money but why? it is because it is out of the trauma and I said you know what I don't know I've got no clue what it is to be in a true true relationship whether it be for love, whether it be for friendship, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know how to give myself. I don't know how to invest in a relationship. And the thing is, if you are in a relationship and you give your everything, you go beyond and above. Is it because of trauma for people pleasing? Why? And this is the thing, God wants an intimate relationship with us. And He says, seek ye first the kingdom. Now, if I put it to you like this, maybe you will understand it better. Seek ye first a relationship with me. I mean, you, you can't come in by the back door and expect to work. Now, I think I've said it before in, in one of my previous teachings. A relationship built on intimacy, sex, will never last because there's no emotional intimacy. And that is what God wants from us. Seek ye first His face. If you have a relationship with your husband, like you are having with God now, do you think it will last? Mm -mm, it's not going to last. You have to work at it. You have to daily input into that relationship. That is why some people say, even after marriage, you still have to invest. It's a hundred, hundred percent. Not 50-50. Not 35-45 how do you get to a hundred? Math is not my strong suit. You have to invest. You have to put time aside for God and, and talk to Him, listen to Him and get rid of your trauma. Don't try and build a relationship with God out of your trauma. It's not going to work. He wants you to deal with with the trauma. He wants that relationship with you so he can help you deal with the trauma. But you need to come to him first. You need to let go. You need to seek him and allow him to work in your life.